Let's start the Mega Evolution tier list right now so we can actually decide which ones are the best Mega Evolution Pokemon and which ones are the worst. And uh, for that, I think we should start with the very best way to actually, you know, gauge the meter and that's picking up the worst one of them all and getting it in the lowest it goes and then the best one and getting it the highest, you know? I think that is the best way to do it. So it's hard, but I think Mega Audino is very likely the one I like the least. This thing is not cool. Mega Audino is not cool. Audino is not cool. I, I'm not gonna do F tier. No, let's 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 do D. Yeah, let's do D tier. Nah, I got I gotta go lower. E tier. Let's go E tier. I'm not gonna go F tier. I don't think it is like so bad that is F tier, you know? But I gotta do E tier for it. I, I gotta do that. And then I gotta choose the one that I like the most, and that everything is likely gonna be in between those. I'm looking at this and it's tough. Like there are so many cool ones. I'm looking at Charizard, Gengar, Swampert, even Sceptile is awesome. Mega Mewtwo Y is incredible. I'm gonna go Sableye as my favorite one. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. Okay, now let's start with the, the usual ones. Okay, Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur is fine. That's all it is. I think Mega Venusaur is simply fine. It's a B Pokemon, that's fine. Uh, different enough from Venusaur, but still very close to it. As a Mega Evolution, I'd say it is simply fine. B tier is perfect for it, I think. We already talked about this one, it's it's impossible. Like Mega Charizard X is 100% uh, an S tier of Mega Evolution. The moment I saw it, I was like, yeah, and it's a dragon? Come on. They, they gave dragon type to Charizard. What else can we say? It's shiny Charizard with blue plus dragon type. That is the way to do it. That is the way they should have done it. And that's the way they do it. They did it. Perfect. Okay, Mega Charizard Y is not as good. I'm gonna go B tier with Mega Charizard Y. It's good, but not as good. I don't look at Mega Charizard Y and I think about like, oh yeah, the Mega Charizard Y. When you think about Mega Charizard, you'll always think about Mega Charizard X. So Mega Charizard Y is not even good enough to stay in the talk. So um, B tier on that thing. Honestly, same thing for Mega Blastoise. Like they're fine, but it's not the same as like, I don't know, like Mega Mega Mewtwo Y or, uh, or even Mega Lucario, for example. I think Mega Lucario looks pretty awesome. Mega Beat really is pretty awesome. I'd say it is also B tier. It is a pretty awesome, uh, the same as Mega, uh, Pidgeot is a C tier. Mega Pidgeot is 100% a C tier. Pidgeot is already not a Pokemon that I look at and I'm like, oh, this is such a good Pokemon and all that. It is one Pokemon that is 100% iconic and there's reasons for that. And it's not the design that makes it makes it iconic. It's the fact that it was used the way, the way it was. Mega Bidrill actually gave, gives Bidrill a little bit of that, uh, uh, honestly, no. I'll do it like that. Mega Bidrill is also C tier. But higher than Pidgeot. Yeah, I'd say that. Oh, this one this one is a very nice A tier. Mega Lakazam is really awesome. I really, really like Mega Lakazam. I think they did a good job with it. And it's already a pretty cool Pokemon. So you have an already pretty cool Pokemon. You can actually mess it up. And they didn't. I like that. I think that's a very good thing. Mega Slowbro, though. Uh, Mega Slowbro. I mean, it's a goofy Mega Evolution. I like it. I'll go high B tier on Mega Slowbro. It is a goofy one. And for that, I'm always going to remember it more than the rest. Like Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, Mega Blastoid, Mega Charizard Y. I won't think about them as often, but if I think Mega Slowbro, at least a smile comes to my face. I'm going to be happy about Mega Slowbro. It exists, it is goofy, but I think it does the job, you know? Oh, this is a nastier Pokemon. This is a 100% really good Pokemon. Mega Gengar is fantastic. I think there's no way of missing with Gengar. Um, Gengar G Max is, was super awesome. Uh, it has an awesome shiny as well. I think Mega Gengar is just fantastic. Okay, this one is a D tier. I'd say D tier for Mega Mega Kangaskhan. Mm, Mega Pinsir. Huh. Yeah, Mega Pinsir should stay right here. Not too high, not too low. It's fine. I like I like the Pokemon. But it, it is is it better than this three? I don't think it is though. Huh. Yeah, I, I don't I don't remember Mega Pinsir that much as well, you know, like it's not that crazy of a of a thingy. I'll go like this. I'll keep it in low B for now, but it's fine, you know. I like Mega Gyarados. It looks shrimpy. It looks very shrimpy. Like very, very shrimpy, but uh I like it. I think I think they did uh, at least a curious job. There, there's also the episode in po the Pokemon anime and all that, so it's kinda cool. Okay, Mega Rodactyl. I like Mega Rodactyl. Yeah, I'll go low A. Lower than Gyarados, I'd say. Lower than that. For now, I'll, I'll go like that. Lower than Gyarados. I like it. It's a cool Pokemon. Okay, don't hate me for it, but yeah, I'll go C tier on Mega Mewtwo uh, X. I'm not a big fan of this form. Never was. I don't think I'll ever be. Unless they show me something interesting about it, but I don't know. 
I always looked at it and thought there was too much going on on a Pokemon that always was pretty simple, you know? I understand it's the physical part, the muscles and all that, but I'm not a big fan of Mega Mewtwo X. Never was and I don't think I'll ever be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think a high C tier is fine. It's it's decent. No, I'll, I'll, I'll actually go beyond, beyond the other two. Like, they're not special. Mega Mewtwo X, I'm actually not a big fan of, so I'll go like that. I'm, it's Mewtwo, it's still Mewtwo, so I'm fine with that, but for the most part, I will I will keep it like it. I, I think that's a good job. Yeah, C is fine. But now, this one is one of my favorite Mega Evolutions. I really, really, really like it. Like, really, really like it. It reminds me of Boo from uh, Dragon Ball, and I know I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball, but... That image, that thingy, the, the tail on the head and all that, it always had that feeling and I always loved it. And to this day, I look at it and when I think Mega Mewtwo, that's the Pokemon I think of. And I really enjoy it. I really, really like it. I really think the design is perfect. Like, it gives you, it gives you those psychopath vibes, you know, like, psychic psychopath vibes. I, I just really enjoy it. Like, it's a, it's a killer Pokemon. I really love it. Mega Ampharos, eh, sure. I'll go high C for Mega Ampharos. It's not a bad Pokemon. I, I could even go B for it. I'll actually go. I like the hair. It's it's cool. It's fine. Uh, I will not. I will always remember this form. It has the, the the hair going for it, so I'm fining for that. Now Mega Steelix, on the other hand, I'll actually go C tier on Steelix. When I think of Steelix and even Mega Steelix, it it it's not always this image that comes to mind, you know. I like how Steelix looks, so uh, I'll just give you like that. I understand the thing behind it, yo, the diamond and all that and all that, you're really hard now, but... Eh... Caesar is a D tier for me. I am not a fan of Mega Caesar. I really am not. I don't think... And honestly, I'll only go low C on my Heracross. Not low C. I'll go, I'll go like this. I'll, I know it. It's not that great. It really is not that great, but I really love, like, I really love Heracross. And I was very happy that this Pokemon got a Mega Evolution. But, but, it could be better. It could really be better. So, I'll still have it there. I'm fine with it. Okay, but, damn, it could be a lot better. Oh, I like Megondower. I really like Megondower. I'll go, I'll go above Slowbro. Yeah, high B on Megondower. I really could raise that thing from for uh, to low A, but uh, I'm gonna keep it in B. That's fine. B is fine. Oh, I like Mega Tyranitar. It, it's not an S tier Pokemon, but I'll go high A for Mega Tyranitar. It just has a very very interesting look, and I really like it. It's like an open cocoon and all that. I like that thing. I think it is real a really really cool Pokemon. Sceptile Mega Sceptile is S tier. Blaziken is A. Lower than Tyranitar, eh, maybe even lower than... I'll go it like that. Yeah, Blaziken is A, Mega Blaziken, beyond, behind the Gyarados, above the the Aerodactyl, Mega Sceptile, 100% S tier, low S, but still S tier, and man, this thing, I'll go like this. Above Gengar, I really like Mega Gengar, but I, I understand Swampert, Mega Swampert is just so cool. The moment I saw it, I was like, oh, yes! I'm, I, I know that I'm picking Mudkip again, you know, I always pick Mudkip in my um, Hoenn adventures uh, back in the day and when Aorus came out and we got the Mega Evolution for the starters, when I saw Mega Swampert I was like, I'm so glad that I can still pick Mudkip and have a very cool Mega Evolution, so that, that is 100% my pick. S tier on Mega Swampert as well, I love it. Gardevoir, um, Gardevoir, I'll go deep for Gardevoir. I really like the shiny. Let's just say that. I really like shiny Mega Gardevoir. It's so awesome. Apart from that, it's it, it, it doesn't have a lot going for it, in my opinion. I like it more than Mega Caesar. I'd say I like it more than Mega Mewtwo X. Honestly, I'll get Mega Mewtwo X in D. I really don't like that one. Really don't like it. Mega Mawile. It's fine. I'll get it right here. It's a fine design. I like it. Mega Agron. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I, I'm not the biggest crazy one for it. I'm looking at it, but I do not know. Okay, I'll go here. Okay. It looks cool. Uh, the armor and all that. It's just nothing too crazy, in my opinion. Mega Medichan. Eh, let's go for... Let, let's get it here, I guess. Also, not a, not crazy about it. Like, uh, it's nothing that will make me think about it for way too long. Like, it's fine. It's Mega Medichan. Yeah, hey. that's it. Mega Manetric is weird. It's one of those cases where, sure, I'll go low B, simply because it is 100% a design that you'll remember. You'll remember that design, 100%. Mega Sharpedo is... I mean, it's not bad. It is not bad. 
it, it isn't good as well. I'll get it here as well. I think I prefer... I, I'm gonna get this, like, high C. Because it just looks very, 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 very fluffy. The, the little legs behind... Uh, beneath the whole, um... The fur... The volcano fur thingy. It just looks cute. I, I'll get it, like, high C for that one. Megaltaria. It looks cute. I like it. I'll, I'll get it above the Ampharos. Both have uh, good hair and all that, but, uh... I think I'll stay with uh, Megaltaria above it. It just looks fluffier, and Fluffy's good. I like Fluffy. Fluffy's nice. I love Mega Manette. I'll, I'll get A tier on Mega Manette. I really like Mega Manette. I think they did, the design is awesome. Like, super scary. I love the design. I'm also gonna get A, but actually high A on this one. I know it's just Absol. I'll get it behind Gyarados, beneath Gyarados. Like, it's just Absol technically, but it has the Yin Yang thingy and the, the wings and all that. It's a Pokemon that... It's hard to mess up Absol. I think it is very hard to mess up Absol. I I feel like it is one of those designs that from the moment you see it for the first time, first of all, you think it is a legendary. Like, it looks like a legendary Pokemon. If they told you that Absol was a legendary Pokemon, you wouldn't think twice. You'd be like, yeah, sure. Absol is a legendary Pokemon. That That's it, you know? It looks like it. It could be part of the legendary beasts, you know? Like, now that they're adding, like, uh, new Pokemon to former uh, groups, like Inamoros, for example, I mean, if they told you that Absol releasing now was, like, a new Pokemon for the legendary beasts, you'd be like, sure. Well, it's fine. It looks super cool as well, so why not? And if it was Mega Absol, you'd think that was the leader. An angel-like legendary beast? Come on, that would be awesome. Okay, a lot of people won't agree with this one. A lot of people won't, but I find this one cool enough for A tier. Actually, above uh, above uh, Blaziken. I know a lot of people hate on um, on Mega Glalie, but it has a very cool beard, and it has the mouth open. It is a goofy Pokemon that I enjoy. I think it is pretty cool in the worst way they could do it, but it's super cool. Okay, everyone's agreeing. I like that. I'm not, like, crazy on this one, you know? I'll get it, like, here, I guess. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna get... Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. Mega Gardevoir above Mega Pidgeot. But Mega Salamence... Okay, Mega Salamence above Pidgeot as well. I'm a fan of Salamence. I like it. But I wasn't that sold on the... Um, on the Mega design. And now that we got the Rory Moon... I mean, Rory Moon is so cool. You know, like, if I want to look at a Pokemon that looks like that, I'll go for Rory Moon. Like, 100% going for Rory Moon. It just looks better, you know? It just looks better. Personally, I don't think Iron Cross deserves to be that high. The only reason, and this is really the only one, is because I really, really, really like Iron Cross. Like, it's just that. And I, I there's nostalgia behind that, you know? There's nostalgia behind that decision. I am not a big fan of that design. I'll, I'll do this one for you. I'll do this one for you. Yeah, I'll do it like this. I, I, cannot, I cannot in any way, shape, or form putting... I, I'll do it like that, actually. I'll do it like this. Okay. Mega Gardevoir is climbing. Mega Gardevoir is climbing, actually. I, I just like Aerocross a lot. And I look at that and I'm like, okay, cool. It could have been better, sure, but it's fine. It's Aerocross. Done. They didn't ruin it, but they did. They kind of did. I'll go like that. The more I look at, at Medi Mega Medichan, by the way, the more I hate it. It's incredibly humanoid. And uh, that's it. I, the more I look at it, the more I hate it. So it might keep climbing down. I don't think it will, but uh, it might keep climbing down. Mega Metagross will be in... Um, High B. Yeah, I like it. I like it more than the three, but not enough to be in A tier. It's fine. I mean, it's a co co combination of things and all that. I can enjoy the, the whole idea, magnets and stuff, but, you know, it's that. Shiny one looks amazing, but Shiny Metagross looks amazing every time. You know, every single iteration of that thing looks amazing. Honestly, I'll get these two here. I don't care for those two Mega Evolutions. There was something special about flying or oh, soaring, the soaring mechanic, and that's something that we couldn't have without the Mega, the mega Latios and Mega Latios. But I really, never really connected with those designs. I, I don't think they're bad. I, I could go low C for them, actually. Like, maybe, maybe this is better. You know, maybe low C is actually the way to go. Because I, do, I don't mind them. I don't actively dislike them a single bit. It's just, I think they could be more. And the fact they're so similar to each other, basically the same. Which, they're probably the same, actually. I don't know if there's any specific difference between them. Just that alone makes me, like, not like them as much. So I'll keep them in low C for now. This is S tier for me. Uh, continuing this thing. Mega Rayquaza is also an S tier for me. I really like it. I, I know a lot of people prefer the, Rayqu the regular Rayquaza and all that. We've talked about this. But Mega Rayquaza is actually super cool. Mega Lopunny. Hmm, honestly, I'll get it here. 
above above this one. It's fine. Also doesn't do a, um, a lot to me, you know. I don't care about low bunny as much as some people do, you know. I'm sorry about that. I know you guys want me to be haha -ha funny. I cannot be haha -ha funny. Not like that. I can't. It's not my way. It is not my way. This is not a smash or pass or anything. I'm sorry. Big disappointment right here. Big disappointment right here. For those of you who don't know, Garchomp is one of my favorite Pokemon. Yes, I am a normie. I am an absolute normie. I like it. I even built a deck. I'm playing Garchomp on the TCG. You know, it is the way it is. Mega Garchomp is, to me, just a low B. I'll get it above that thing, but it's a low B. I wanted it to be an S tier. I wanted Garchomp, Mega Garchomp to be an S tier. I am not a big fan. Don't like the jaw. It doesn't, it doesn't have any ends. I mean, sure, you know, like, yoo -hoo, you can kill people with that. And, you know, Garchomp is a very, very killer Pokemon, but no. Not enough for me. Shiny is also better than the regular one, but still not the best. You know, it's like that weird Gen 1 pink shiny. Not the right one. You know, like, they could have made it better. Everything about it could be better. Mega Lucario is... I'll get high A for Mega Lucario. I, I'll get high A. I'm going to tell you why. It should be... It, it could be low S or high A. I'll get, it, I'll get it in high A because I still have one more Pokemon that I want to put in um, in S tier. And I don't want to make S tier too crazy, you know? I don't want to make two S tier too crazy, but I, there's still one. Like, it, it is incredibly cool. Like, Mega Lucario is... Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll give it a low S. I'll give it a low S. Okay. I'll do it. I will do it. It is really cool. Mega Sableye is the, the best Mega Evolution we have. It is the me the best Mega Evolution we have. It is awesome. It is a Goblin. You have Goblin Sableye right there hiding behind the a shield. It is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Okay, I'll do it like this. I was going to do Mega Absol... Uh, Mega uh, Abomas Snow. I was going to do Mega Abomas Snow in um, S tier. I really like the Pokemon. I'll do it high A for Mega... But Okay, I'll do it like this. I was going to do it S tier, I thought about it twice, I'll get it there, that's fine. But um, Mega Gallade, I think this is around around the same thing as Mega Blaziken, in my opinion. I'll actually move this to lower. Nah, th this isn't that. I'll do, it, I'll do it like this. Yeah, I'd rather have it like this, I'm going to be honest. Gallade is cool, I like the dual disc, I really like the dual disc. You know, just not my kind of design uh, to make it S tier. And we have the last one. The last one is Mega DNC. Sure, Mega DNC is cool. I like the whole vibe of Mega DNC. I'll get it like here. It's fine. You know, it's a fine Mega Evolution. I'll get it higher actually. It's it's a grandiose Mega Evolution. Like I could I could do A tier for like Mega DNC, Mega Houndoom. I could even do A tier for that. I think Mega DNC just it just fits perfectly. Uh, I'll I'll do, I'll actually do yeah. Let's do high B for for Mega Dynasty. Maybe low A. It's one of those. It's a Mega Evolution that fits absolutely perfectly on it. It just fits absolutely perfectly. Uh, absolutely perfect. It's that's just it. So yeah, this is the tier list. Some people agree, some people don't, and you can tell me all about it in the comments. So thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you all on the next one.